SpaceX is a giant in the field of private space exploration, and they continue to surprise us throughout their operations. Right now, it's no exception. SpaceX and Elon Musk have finally unveiled the design of the new Starship prototype V3, unlike any other vision, and that gives us a clearer view of the remarkable upgrades it brings. So, what has Elon just revealed about the new Starship V3? What makes it so impressive? What's the difference between Starship V3 and V2 and V1? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Starship is currently the largest rocket ever built by humankind, including the first stage named Super Heavy, standing over 120 meters tall in total. SpaceX has conducted three orbital test flights so far. Two took place in 2023, and the last one was in March, which was very successful. But Elon's company is now researching something even bigger. These are Starship V2 and V3, presented in the presentation slides. How will these guys differ from the current test design? First, you can see that Starship V2 is slightly taller than the current prototype, with the spacecraft's height increased by an additional 2 meters and the booster's height increased by 1.3 meters. The increased load-bearing capacity and thrust during liftoff enable it to carry more than 100 tons. The new version of Super Heavy is expected to provide about 15% more thrust than the booster used in the March test. In fact, Starship 2 will be the first version of SpaceX's rocket to operate fully and allow it to deliver cargo into space. Elon declared that SpaceX has launched more cargo into space than missions conducted by other companies or nations. When Starship can fly regularly, the success rate increases to 99%. However, looking at Starship 3, this is when some upgrades really come into play for a much taller spacecraft that looks like a clearly elongated version. With the thrust expected to be improved compared to Starship V1 and V2, Starship V3 could increase from 7,000 tons of thrust to V1 to over 8,000 tons of thrust for V2, and eventually over 10,000 tons of thrust for V3, as Elon shared during the presentation. This results in the payload capacity of Starship V3 doubling that of Starship V2, exceeding 200 tons, surpassing all current vehicles. Starship V3 will stand at 150 meters tall instead of 124.4 meters of Starship V2 and 121.3 meters of V1 and it may even be taller than the current launch tower at Boca Chica. At that size, the two stages of Starship V3 are nearly identical. The fins also look slightly larger and may even be fixed in place. With these improvements, Starship V3 will accommodate 4,050 tons of fuel in the booster and 2,300 tons in the ship, larger than the 3,650 tons in the booster and 1,500 tons in Starship V2. In terms of engine count, V3 will feature six engines and three additional vacuum engines. Starship V2 and V1 will maintain three sea-level engines and three vacuum engines aboard. Another feature that we notice is the hot staging section of Starship V2 and Starship V3 differing from Starship V1. Instead of the original style vent hole design, now the new version of Starship has an interface similar to the Soviet N1 style of the interstage that's incorporated on board. This has sparked much debate about the endurance of the increased gravitational force on Starship's capabilities when subjected to very high pressures during flight. However, these are just predictions, and we have to wait and see what SpaceX does next. And also in the graphic images, the various versions of Starship have shown us the answer to the speculation of the past when Elon Musk hinted about the new version of Starship. At that time, we speculated that the initial length in Starship would be part of the rumored V3 lineup that's currently in the design phase. Starship V2 wouldn't be produced and might get skipped. However, this is no longer accurate, as Elon and SpaceX are definitely going to manufacture Starship V2 later this year and launch them by 2025. This could lead us to speculate that Starship V3 could potentially be manufactured in early 2025 and ready to go in 2026. Of course, this isn't merely speculation, as we've recently seen the first hardware components of the new version of Starship at the build site, proving that SpaceX is ramping up work on Starship V2. Alongside the impressive capabilities of the new version of Starship, Elon Musk also mentioned another very important aspect that Starship will undoubtedly achieve in the future, which is maximizing cost reduction. Musk claimed that the future Starship V3 would cost less to launch than SpaceX's original rocket, the Falcon 1 small launch vehicle, which had a price tag of around $10 million because of full reusability. He estimated that the Starship cost per launch could fall as low as 2 to $3 million. These are sort of unthinkable numbers. He said. You know, no, nobody ever thought that this was possible, but we're not breaking any physics to achieve this. Well, this is beyond our imagination. For instance, if a future Starship costs $2 million to build and $2 million for fuel and operations, then even in expended mode, the payload cost would be $15 a kilogram. Now, considering a $3 million Starship capable of flying thousands of times, 
the costs would primarily revolve just around the fuel expenses for the flight and minimal overhead. By implementing systems for synthesizing liquid oxygen on site, fuel costs would be substantially reduced. For example, with an estimated half a million per orbital flight for fuel and 250 tons of reusable payload, the cost would range from $2 to $4 a kilogram. Similarly, for transcontinental flights, with fuel costs estimated around 125 Gs per flight and the same payload capacity, the cost would be around 50 cents to a dollar per kilogram. And so that's the difference between if you've got a fully reusable rocket, rocket with low cost propellant and autogenous pressurization uh, actually costs less. This provides an advantage that no other rocket in the world can match. The cost has been a major barrier limiting access to space. Since the 1950s, the cost of traditional space programs made it inaccessible for most countries. And although SpaceX isn't the only private company doing launch services, it's emerged as one of the most important. Nowadays, humans have more opportunities to access space thanks to Starship, and this isn't just leaps and bounds achievable only by billionaires, but it's an opportunity for all of us. Starship will have an immediate impact once orbital testing is completed and safety certifications obtained. Launching satellites and resupply missions to the ISS will be the first steps, followed by sending humans beyond Earth to the Moon and even Mars. As early as 2026, Starship is slated for a lunar mission under a contract with NASA. Starship's reusability and cost savings align with the agency's goal of establishing a more human presence on the moon, making it a stepping stone for the future. Moreover, Starship itself will be the first outpost on these distant planets. Government planners won't have to worry too much about the emergence of Starship, as it'll serve as a home on the moon or Mars. Beyond interplanetary aspirations, Starship also revolutionizes transportation here on Earth. With its enormous capacity and rapid speed, the new version of Starship will expand transportation opportunities from one point to another, reducing transit times between distant points. Of course, with a reasonable price and Starship being available to everyone, whether government or private entities. Of course, cheaper payloads into space will also lead to more affordable orbital tourism. First, commercial orbital stations will create more opportunities to host tourists. Second, tourists are going to be able to fly on Starship itself. And there are already such contracts. For example, the Polaris program. Jarek Isaacman, the billionaire founder of payment company Shift4, has purchased as many as three more flights from SpaceX. The first mission, called Polaris Dawn, scheduled to launch a four-person crew led by Isaacman in 2024 with the company's Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon spacecraft. Polaris Dawn's the inaugural of up to three planned missions, with a final one to be the first crewed space flight of SpaceX's Starship rocket. Each such new rocket system makes space a little more accessible to all of us. And the time is not too far away when flights into space will be as affordable as airplane flights. Everything is amazing, isn't it? But in reality, as Starship continues to get upgraded, it'll have even more advantages than we think. Those will be important steps for Starship to get closer to these important goals. It won't only reinforce SpaceX's dominance, but also be a huge benefit for NASA and the U.S. aerospace industry. It can be said that the changes with Starship V3 are truly breaking every limit we can think of. Not simply the limit of the size of a rocket, but it'll be the limit of exploration that humans aim for, beyond the moon or Mars. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.